Woo. Once again, waiting forever to get my brows and lashes done. I tried to attempt to do my my lashes by my by myself at home. Didn't work out. My brows were jacked up because they needed to be done and the last place I got them waxed, they waxed one side too much. So this side was higher than this side. This side was looking cute when I would do it, but this side was looking scraggy. It was looking raggedy. So, um, bit the bullet and I came here. So I called on my lunch break and asked if I could come and get my brows done and lashes. And she said, yes, I'm here. I said, oh, okay, I'm on my way. I'm not even 10 minutes away from this place. I get here and she tells me it's going to be a 45 minute wait. I can't wait 45 minutes. So she, I said, what's the latest I can come? And she said, if you get here by five o'clock, I can take you. I got here at 4.45. It is now 7.10. 7:10. I waited for over an hour before I got taken back. <sighs> I swear I I am trying. My goal actually is to um get my eyebrows micro shaded so that I can um my hand is itching so bad and I'm ashy it's dry so that I can um, just have my eyebrows done. I don't have to worry about getting them done except for touch-ups. And the reason why I'm doing all this, it wasn't planned for me to do this, but it is uh, Zeta Phi Beta's Boule. The Boule is every other year. It is like the grand ball, the Boule, and they are in Philly. I started a new job. Before I even started a job, I knew I wasn't going to Boule. It is expensive and I, not a saver and I did not save so yeah so I wasn't gonna go but then it worked out that I had I couldn't have wouldn't have been able to go anyway because I had training and I started this new job like ain't no way that I can't go to Boule and it's in Philly even if it's just for one day so I'm like you're in Delaware Boule is in Philly you have to at least go through you have to go through and my my new principal my boss my friend she was like, girl, you better come through. You better come up there. So you ain't don't make no sense. So I'm gonna go. Two of my members of my auxiliary are there. Lynn and Lanice, they are there holding it down for Wilmington. So I appreciate that they um are there and holding it down and representing me, representing us. So ooh, let me get pay for my food. Hold on. Yes. Thank you. Whew. When I first got in the line, the little recorded thing came on, said it's a little spill. Then it says when you're ready, place your order. So of course I was like, um, I would like a um, fish fillet meal, please. Nobody said anything. So I'm like, this thing gets me every time when it says this little spill and then goes, when you're ready, place your order. And that's not the case. So I was like, damn, I feel stupid. So I had to wait for him to come on the speaker, which took forever. <laughs> so I had to wait. But um, I, I ended up changing my mind while I had to wait. Thank you. I was gonna stop by the house and see my sons. But I don't feel like it. I wanna get on the road and go home. It's 7.15. talking about how big my stomach is but then I do dumb stuff like go to McDonald's but I'm hungry 
I need to eat. But yes, honey, I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to any of the shows or anything like that because I'm not registered. Dover is also there. Our sister auxiliary Dover is there. Then quite a few of their members came, which is great. Represent for little old Delaware. Not everybody is cut out to be an Amikai. I'll probably say go ventured enough to say that not everybody is um you know <laughs> Not everybody should be made out to be uh, in a sorority. If you're not going to put the work in and the dedication that you're supposed to. I made a commitment. I took an oath. So I'm going to see it through. I'm sitting here thinking about the several projects that I have to do. Several. Two. I have a lot going on at work. I'm still learning the job. I have haven't been in that type of position for four and a half years so trying to uh get reacclimated. oh my gosh as i think i was saying um <laughs> uh yeah trying to get reacclimated to being in the school and in that type of position when i worked at the other schools um as far as the guidance they were their own animal like uh, we helped out occasionally but they did all the work uh, high school is a whole different animal whole different animal so trying to learn that I got a lot of stuff for, as far as registrations to do next week um, sending files out contacting parents letting them know that their registrations are incomplete so I have all of that to do on top of that I'm working on a presentation because I am presenting at our um, annual conference that we have so I have to uh, get that figured out as well I started it I'm just nowhere near done so um, yeah and then so I'm working on that project I also have to um, get my Mikai stuff in order like I said so I'm looking forward to popping in at the boule tomorrow just to decompress relax and then have the rest of the weekend to you know chill chill relax recoup relax and recoup let me go get Bentley some food Dollar General did not have any of his food they only had two two singles I stood up on the shelf to find those two they were hidden in the back and the lady went and checked in the back storage room. She didn't find any. So I told Brianna to get some. She was in training. So she said she can't do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and get his something else that he eats. It's the roll from Fresh Pet. So he does eat that. So I'm going to go grab him that to eat until one of us gets the pet smart to get his food. We can last forever. Come on, baby, won't you hold on to me? Hold on to me. You and I together. Come on, baby, won't you hold on to me? Hold on to me. All right, little.
hair. <laughs> gotta take care of my edges better. I gotta stop being disrespectful. It was gonna be like this. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be bald headed. I didn't think I had no hair. I didn't think. Yeah. You got a shag back though. That's about the only hair I got. No, you got a shag. <laughs> <laughs> back to yes, yes. My cousin used to um, wear a shag. <laughs> yeah, I think we all did at one point. Yes. New hair. I was actually surprised that she combed out my hair. It was like hanging like right here. Cause you know I'm bald headed. You know I'm bald headed. And she said I had a shag in the back. So she cut that down for me. She cut it down. So hopefully this is something I can maintain a little bit when the curls start dropping. But I do need to get to the beauty supply store and get me a small teeny tiny uh curling iron because you know, i'm not blessed to be able to use the flat irons that good and all that all that flipping and dipping but give me a curling iron and i could do some curls and then comb them through with my fingers or something so on my way i'm home now daryl called me and i need to pick him up so we can go pick up our other car that he got the Cadillac he got it shined and buffed or something and I'm telling you I had plans today my original plans was to uh, get dressed and leave and go do what I had to do like not even come back home I was going to leave fully dressed and not have to come back home that was my plan but then I decided let me come back home and then of course that turned into Daryl. Oh, I need you. I need you to come back. And well, I need I need you to pick me up from Dover because I'm in Dover right now. So I'm like, okay, but I'm at the hair salon. Then I call him back when I'm done. Hey, I can come get you now. Oh, never mind. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, you're good. Now you're good. Yeah, I'm good. But we do need to go pick up the car. He called me back. Oh, oh, but we do need to go pick up the car though. We do. And I'm like, what are you talking? Oh my god. So. So much for me doing what I wanted to do during the time frame that I wanted to do it. But I was so hungry, I picked me up some Popeyes and I was gonna try to eat it, but I couldn't because the chicken was piping hot and I was on the phone with Tia. So I'm gonna take this food in the house, go grab it or whatever, so we can get out of here so I can come home shower, get dressed, and get on the road to go make an appearance. Show my face in place. Woo. Waiting on Daryl and his slow self to come get in the car. Oh, he had to put his shoes on. And I'm supposed to be checking for my Sam's Club card which I do have. The skin has been... has been... Jesus, back up. So I can move my pick up. kind of mentioned a couple times that I was leaving to my husband that I was leaving he was like oh I brought some stuff I was going to do some chicken and rice and I think he said cabbage and it's like that's great but I'm not going to be here I can eat it when I get back later on tonight but I'm going somewhere today but I'm not even going to mention it I'm not going to mention it he does not listen when I talk, just like he didn't listen that I was going to the hairdresser. 
My lips are so dry. Because of you, you sound so stupid. Got you, got you elevated. <laughs> okay, I heard you for that elevation again. You're so funny. Can you put your seatbelt on, sir? Thank you. I know you forgot, but you know. You're funny. Tell you I ride with gas like that. <laughs> yeah, they be doing too much. I mean, that's not the order, but I, mean, I know, but for us, they can use the big one. But for those, you can just use a little yeah. push, little weed whacker I'm action. I'm maneuver around and shit. I be stuck. They already got the Facebook page for this new development and stuff. I see him, baby. Don't worry, I ain't gonna go. Even though I was. <laughs> um, they already got the Facebook page. Who's gonna be moving the big oak? Oh, they got them sold already or something? Yeah, people brought them already. Brought the lots already. Because if you, it's the same people that built those houses, okay. so they already got some of the models, so the people could see, you know, the models. Okay. So it's not like they don't know what they get. Okay, just drop down to the Daryl off. Oh, that's the last Trust my senses, catch me if I fall So done with second guessing, you seem to have it all And loving before anything, emotional too soon You got my invitation, now the rest is up to you Kick it rendezvous, make some time for me and you Get you over, treat you right We vibing like a uh -huh. Kick it rendezvous, make some time for me and you
trust my senses Catch me if I fall So done with second guessing You seem to have it all In love enough for anything Emotional too soon You got my invitation Now the rest is up to you Kick it rendezvous Make some time for me and you Get you over, treat you right We vibing like a For me and you get together, you and I. We vibing like a uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. feeling kind of tipsy, didn't drink, so I don't get it. I must be high, but I'm just guessing. Catch me if I fall So done with second guessing You seem to have it all In love enough for anything Emotional too soon You got my invitation Now the rest is up to you 